So Elon Musk has come out and stated that he believes that Tesla will be a $500 billion company in the future. This implies that if we have the current amount of outstanding shares remain consistent, the share price of Tesla will be around $2,834.46 per share, but let's round that off to around $3,000 per share because that sounds better. And Musk actually believes that the part of the business that will actually propel Tesla to become this $500 billion company will be its self-driving technology. So let's talk more about that today and let's talk about why he believes this, if this is actually a potential in the future, and let's look at if this is actually an opportunity of a lifetime here in Tesla stock. In a quote from an investor's call that they had recently after they raised capital, Elon Musk stated that Tesla's vehicle, solar, and energy business were just a backstop of value, but self-driving systems in development right now will turn Tesla into a business with a half a trillion dollar market cap aka $500 billion company, aka $3,000 stock price. So this is a very bold claim from Elon Musk. So let's go over why Musk believes this and more importantly, if this $3,000 per share price is actually realistic. Now this really all boils back to the chip that Tesla has been developing for the last few years. And finally last year, they spilled the beans here and they said that they are working on their own chip and will be in all of their cars moving forward. Up until then, they had been using Nvidia chips, but Musk believes that these Tesla chips are the best chips in the world, and it's over 260 square millimeter pieces of silicone with six billion transistors that offer 21 times the performance of the Nvidia chips. And this was actually huge news out there for the Tesla community in general. This not only proves that Tesla is capable of developing technology that's a lot more efficient than major competition out there, but it also shows that Tesla has the capability of being a true tech company. And not just any tech company, but a world-class chip producing company which can compete with large behemoths like Nvidia. Now this is not a bash on Nvidia. I'm actually a very big bull on Nvidia. I absolutely love the company. I love what they do. I love their CEO. And I do believe that Nvidia does produce the best chips for certain applications like data centers, for example. But I can't ignore the fact here that Tesla actually surpassed them when it came to self-driving AI technology on a chip. The main reason that Tesla felt that they needed to develop their own chip was not because they wanted to actually go out there and prove they could do it, or maybe that's the reason that Elon Musk wanted to, but it was actually because they felt that the Nvidia chips were not really a perfect fit for their technology. In other words, these Nvidia chips were not custom designed for self-driving for Tesla cars, so they were kind of a jack of all trades but master of none kind of chip. And Tesla had enough of this and they really went out there and said, you know what, we can develop a master of one self-driving AI chip, so let's do it. And with that, the future of Tesla, AI, and self-driving with Tesla is looking extremely bright. Currently, Tesla drivers need to keep their hands on the wheel when driving, but Musk believes this will not be the case in due time. Musk said that some of their competitors like GM's Cruise and Alphabet's Waymo can't catch up to Tesla because Tesla has a fleet of connected cars on the road today and a proprietary chip at that as well. And in my opinion, I think this is one of Tesla's biggest and smartest moves by far thus far. It's one thing to have technology that works in a controlled environment, in a controlled area, but when you have technology that works pretty much all over the world in different environments, in different climates, in different anything really, pretty much any scenario you can think of out there because Tesla cars are sold in Europe, North America, in Asia, pretty much all different types of climates, different types of weather conditions, road conditions, things crossing the road, things on the road. Maybe it's not even proper roads, maybe it's dirt roads or gravel. Either way, my point is that Tesla has all of these different scenarios in their AI chip and they're learning from it every single time someone drives out there with this autonomous technology. This really gives Tesla a huge advantage over the competition, which is just testing the technology in very small pockets, very small areas in the United States. So it's not necessarily comparable here, and anyone that really says that you can simulate all these tests really doesn't understand that when you go out there and put things in the real world, things change. For example, think of Samsung. You know when they released their Galaxy Note which caught fire? You don't think that Samsung actually went out there and tested and simulated and did all these things to make sure that the phone was actually perfect and had no issues? Of course they did. They went through all the QA, they went through all the required steps, you know, did their testing, everything looked good. But then when we went out to real world scenarios and we actually tested the phone out there, people use it day to day, 
that's when new things started popping up and some phones actually caught fire. So do not underestimate the power of real world tests, the millions of kilometers or miles a Tesla cars have been driving versus their competition, which has pretty much yet to actually start this technology in production cars out there. And the beauty about this is that pretty much every single Tesla car that's shipped out today has this chip built into it and any software upgrades or software updates are done over the air from Tesla directly. The hardware is currently capable of everything Tesla wants to do in the future, but the software is still lagging behind. The software needs to get closer to that 100% mark before Tesla feels confident and is able to pretty much say their cars are 100% autonomous, they're level five autonomy, and nothing else out there really comes close. The hardware of these chips are currently capable of doing pretty much everything Tesla wants them to do in the future, but the software is still lagging behind. The software is kind of the point where they need to really spend more time on, gather more data on, and over time, I believe this will also get close to 100% accuracy as well. And because of this software technology, Musk actually believes that Tesla cars, as opposed to pretty much every car out there, will actually increase in value over time. Because of the value that software, AI, and self-driving will bring to consumers here in Tesla cars, he believes that a Tesla car will be worth around 250000 to 250000 in three years or so because of this. And this will pretty much make Tesla the only car out there to actually appreciate significantly in value all thanks to self-driving technology. And that brings us to our next big point, which is the whole robo-taxi talk that has been circulating around recently. Because Tesla expects to have 1 million cars on the road next year, they suspect that they can actually launch a robo-taxi network. This would actually allow each car to be able to do around 100 hours of work a week for its owner, which in my opinion is passive income in its truest form. Now, although Musk is extremely optimistic on this, I wouldn't personally hold my breath as a Tesla shareholder that this would actually be released next year. Now, I do believe that this will be released in the future and I do believe that Tesla will be the company to bring us this, but I think it'll take longer than Musk suspects here. The biggest issue I see is the whole government approval process that they're gonna have to go through and this may be the most painful process for Tesla because they're gonna have to convince all these government officials who are really opposed against self-driving. A lot of them are still for the gas companies, they don't really like electric cars. But either way, eventually times will change, they will adapt to this, and they will see once Tesla can prove it with a lot of statistics and data that self-driving is the safer route, electric cars are the future, and Teslas will be allowed to drive on the road without a driver behind the wheel. Now, I personally think that it's probably gonna be a European country that's gonna adopt this and actually make this legal across the country before the United States does. So I'm kind of keeping my eyes peeled there, maybe a country like Finland or Sweden or one of those countries. I think they will actually lead the way here for this future. And this really brings us full circle back to Tesla stock. When you have companies like AMD with a $30 billion market cap, you have companies like Nvidia with a $100 billion market cap. You have companies like Intel with a $200 billion market cap. What is stopping Tesla from being a company with a market cap of $500 billion if their chips are better, more efficient, and perform better than any of these competitors? Remember, Tesla has many segments to their business, whereas these companies that I just listed are pretty much pure semiconductor companies. Tesla is able to actually take these semiconductor chips that it develops, puts them into cars that it develops, throw it out onto the roads with technology that it develops, and have a full ecosystem here that could generate them hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars each and every single year. It's very clear by now that electric cars are the future, and you can see every single manufacturer out there scrambling to release some sort of electric version of their flagship cars. A lot of them have released some sort of a hybrid car, but a lot of them have plans to release a fully electric car very soon. However, there is still no real competition, even though competition is coming and has been coming for the last few years there is no real competition to tesla cars that's just the bottom line here there's no cars that offer as good range there's no cars that offer as good value for what you get at that price point and there's absolutely no car out there that has as good autonomy driving self-driving ai technology as tesla cars do i think that a lot of manufacturers like audi and bmw will be able to create beautiful cars that are actually very high quality and i'm sure a lot of people will be interested in but they all will be lacking one big thing and that is the Tesla chip, which won't be present in those cars. I hope this video kind of gives you perspective on the value of this chip that Tesla has developed and how it could play out over the coming years. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, you want to check out the autonomy day where I cover this a bit more, check out the video up here. But either way, guys, we appreciate you hanging around for this video. Don't forget to invest positively. I'll see you in the next one.